Hello, today I want to show you how I did this drawing of a grasshopper in charcoal. Alright, I'm going to use this paper to draw my grasshopper. Uh, my reference photo is over there on the phone. I'm going to use this piece of paper to put under my hand. I'm going to do a sketch with this graphite pencil. And I'm mostly going to be using some vine charcoal and a woodless charcoal pencil for drawing. And this uh, pencil eraser for erasing. And some other stuff along the way. Now let's start. First, I have to decide on the size and I have to do a sketch. So, the head, maybe just a tiny bit larger. The head is going to be around here. And this is the thorax. If you remember from my uh, stag beetle video, uh, insects uh, generally have three large, or three main sections, uh, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So this is roughly where the thorax will be. And the wings are here. I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with those a little bit later. Let me place the legs now. So these are the front legs. And the other one is going to be coming up from behind the head here. All right, the middle legs here, and of course the other one won't be visible because it's behind the body, and of course uh, the large and powerful hind legs of the grasshopper that they use to push off. I mean, grasshoppers can actually fly, <laughs> in case you didn't know that. They have wings for a reason, but um, they, they don't just jump, but they use these powerful legs to push off. So, here is one, and the other one will be here. Uh, the wing, and this is the abdomen. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make these wings a little bit larger. I saw a whole bunch of grasshoppers this morning when I went running, and a great variety too. The sketch is mostly done, so now I'm moving on to the charcoal work. I'm mostly going to be using a woodless charcoal pencil. I wasn't really happy with the shape of these antenna first, so I made them a little bit longer. So the eye is a round object and um, it's going to have a highlight here. Just need to soften the area around it just a little bit. I need to shade everything around the uh, highlight so that it would stand out. Drawing the mandible. And the hind leg, and the front leg. I do know a thing or two about the anatomy of insects, but I don't know everything. 
So I'm kind of improvising uh, with some parts. the rest of the mandible as best as I can because I like I said I can't see every little detail there I just have to improvise a little bit add a little bit of texture here This part here, around here, is going to be a little bit of a matter. So let's, start, let's try to create some contrast. some corrugated areas here don't really know what those are and this area here has a little bit of a rough texture so just going to try to produce that by scribbling and not blending it in like should have been a little bit longer so I'm trying to modify that as I go along trying to pull some highlights but uh, my eraser is failing me because this is really tiny okay that's not too bad yeah. add a little more value here even though it's not in my reference photo but I just uh, want a clear contrast between the head and that uh, leg behind the head the same thing here okay on to the top part of the wings hmm. what was i doing here this leg needs to be way bigger way bigger i think I feel like I rushed a little bit with my uh, initial sketch, so I'm not entirely happy with some of the proportions, but I think I can fix some of them as I go along. The paper that I'm using, by the way, is Fabriano's uh, sketching paper, and it produces a slightly rough texture. So, if you want precision and cleaner lines, this may not be the best choice, but for sketches like this, I think it works really well. I thought that the stag beetle uh, sketch uh, turned out really nice. So I wanted to do more insects. I like insects, I find them very fascinating. 
and interesting to draw, interesting subjects for drawing. And to the wings. Uh, and the rest of the thorax. The wings are a little bit complicated. They have a lot of these lines, uh, complicated pattern. Let's see if I can simplify it a little bit though. I'll need to shade the area behind the legs uh, a little bit darker to give it more shape and depth. And I'm working on the upper portion of the hind legs, the thigh, if you will. It also has an interesting pattern. I'm using my pencil eraser to erase some of these lines and emulate that pattern in my drawing. And this is the abdomen, which also consists of several segments. I used a little bit of vine charcoal there as well, but I mostly used these woodless charcoal pencils. I don't have to copy the pattern of those wings exactly, I just need to make a few suggestions here and there. Just raising a few more highlights. Clean up this edge a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's mostly done, but I just um, I'm just refining the contrast and texture in certain areas and adding a few details here and there. Just a few details on the legs and these thorn-like shapes on the hind legs are used for making those famous noises that uh, grasshoppers make by rubbing their legs against uh, the wings. And now I'm doing the shadow very lightly with a brush because I don't want to use a pencil there. Soften a few areas with a brush. Just going to remove the tape. Carefully. Say a real sign in here. That's it. I'm just going to go outside and spray it with a little bit of fixative, and then we're going to do a few final words on this sketch.
So there it is, my finished drawing of a grasshopper. Like I said, insects are very interesting to me, both as a subject of study and a drawing subject. And I've always found grasshoppers to be particularly interesting. I'm probably going to be doing some more insect sketches in the future, but this is it for now. I'm going to see you in the, in the next video. If you like this, uh, give me a like, subscribe, and hit the notification icon. And thank you for watching.